everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called Messenger on a Mission. The memory verse is from John chapter 20, verse 21. It says, As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Today's message is I serve God when I willingly help others. Have you ever been to an airport? How about a boat harbor? Was it fun to watch all the planes and ships coming and going? In today's story, Paul is in a boat harbor. What is he doing there? Perhaps it was like this. Sailors with heavy bundles on their shoulders tramped down the gangplank to the docks at the seaport of Troas. Paul pushed his way through the jostling crowd, asking where the ship was from. Perhaps he stopped one of the sailors. Have you come from Macedonia? He may have asked. When he found out that the newly arrived ship was from Macedonia, he scanned each face for that of his friend Titus. Titus was the kind of person who made many friends. He had a way that drew people to him. If there were disagreements between church members, Titus could help. He helped them see where their differences were and helped them resolve them. He was just the kind of person Paul needed right now. Paul had written a letter to the people of Corinth about changing their ways. The church members there were new Christians. They had never worshipped God before. Many of them were former idol worshippers and criminals and Paul had written that they couldn't slip back into those old habits and witness for God at the same time. So Paul had sent the letter, but he had no idea how the Corinthians had responded. He was worried that he may have offended them. He cared so much for them. He wanted to visit them if they would let him, and that's why he had sent Titus to Corinth to see if his friendship was ruined. Had Titus managed to help them see that Paul's criticism was based on love and concern? But Titus wasn't on the ship from Macedonia. Deeply concerned, Paul decided that he would go to Macedonia himself and find Titus. He had to know how the Corinthians had responded to his letter. In Macedonia, Paul found Titus and asked about his Corinthian friends. Were they willing to see him again? Or had he permanently ruined their friendship? They long to see you again, Titus said joyfully. Our new Christian friends were concerned about your worry over them, and they definitely want to see you again. Relieved at last, Paul made plans to visit Corinth. He wrote a personal letter to his friends there. Titus would take it to them. You can read that letter in the Bible. It's called 2 Corinthians. In it, Paul tells the Corinthians that he is glad they are still friends. He tells them of his love and care for them. He encourages them to cheerfully give a generous contribution to an offering that many churches were collecting for the poor in Jerusalem. Paul wrote that he hoped the church would show love to Titus and to those traveling with them. Titus served not only Paul, but also the people in the churches. Perhaps you have the same gift of getting along with the people that Titus had. Titus willingly and joyfully served others. He and Paul really cared about the people who had joined God's church. That is why Paul wrote letters to help them stay true to Jesus. That is why Paul, Titus, and others visited them. Titus and Paul cared about those who were outside the church, too. That is the reason they kept traveling, to share the good news of Jesus' love and to help meet people's needs. Can you let others know you genuinely care about them, as Paul and Titus did? Will you serve them joyfully and willingly? This podcast is read by Franita Buddy for gracelink.net. Created and produced by Falvo Fowler. Post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso. 
The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. The audio engineer was Karel Holness. For more information, please visit gracelink.net. Thank you.